Okay, so I did cool the battery a little, 33 degrees. Now I want to consume more power to see how it handled. I want to get to 20 amps and then see uh, what happens. So let's try to prevent all the reflection here somehow. Just a second. Okay. We have all on frame so now I want to consume a lot of power I will go to 20 amps again I will make sure that it doesn't hit too much till 45 maybe 50 degrees and then I am off so this will be a very short uh, high current so I will move fast watch here at the current uh, numbers By the way, my fuse is 20 amps, so I will be a little lower than 20 amps, maybe 19. So we are on 19 amps. It's the limit of the fuse. The fuse I put is a... Uh, ah, and now the voltage you see, it dropped it because I set it to when the voltage is lower than 2.5 but take into account that the battery is half discharged so, so probably if it will be let's say 17 amps it can handle it a little more we'll have a few seconds left almost 17 amps whoa can see that the battery is good it's doing its work properly every time I decrease a little the current to see how much I can drain maximum Temperature of the cell is going up 40 degrees. We are at 14 amps. We did consume 1.84 amp hours. Okay, the unit is going to be shut off automatically. We have about two thirds of the battery. Look, we drained already two amps hours. Wow, this is a lot. Maybe there is a better view for the car. Never mind, we can see it. drain a lot of current we already took from the battery more than two amp hours look how much the temperature is rising all the time Wow, the battery is very hot. We took all the energy almost out and it's still working perfectly. Now I want the battery to cool a little, so I will remove the very high current now. Let's 
let's help the cell to cool up with the fan Sorry about that. Going to six amps. So, to summarize, you can see that this eventually, of course, will get to 3 amps hours, okay? And the voltage, we have a drop on the wires, of course. It's not a lot at this current, but we have a drop. Maybe let's check how much voltage drop we have. So, I will put the fluke and measure on the battery itself you see 3 volts so it's about uh, 150 millivolts more than the numbers that we see here so eventually to summarize uh, are these cells uh, original? yes they look like they are real Sony or uh, exact copy or if they have the same parameters so even if this is a fake, this is maybe the fake that is better than the Sony. So it doesn't matter to me. Because if I can drain 20 amps out and 15 amps and the cell doesn't get too heat and we can see now that it will get to 3 amp hour and uh, when consuming 3-4 ampere uh, the temperature is pretty low, 60, uh, 35 degrees Celsius. This is a low temperature, the battery is a little warm, not, not more than this and eventually we seen that the internal impedance is 10 milliohms with it is very good uh, if you will calculate so 15 amps uh, uh, we have uh, the power is uh, uh, I square root of 2 
uh, multiply with R. So if the internal is 10 milliohms, so you can do uh, you can do a calculation. Let's do it. One milliohm multiply by uh, 15. Let's say this is the current square uh, in the power of two. Sorry. So this gives 2.25 watts of heat when we are consuming because the internal resistance is low so it doesn't get uh, too hot and we can already see that it will get to 3 amp hours uh, be before it gets to 2.5 volts so all the parameters are accurate, the battery is good the drain that we can get uh, out of it is very good so this is original Sony or a copy that may be a little even better than Sony, I don't know. So that's all, hope you enjoyed. I will put a link where uh, to find these cells. There are many sellers and uh, if, you, if they have a good feedback, so probably the cells are, as you can see uh, in my video, quite good and well and very recommended. And if you want to support my site, please use the links below the video and order uh, from my links. This will help uh, to do more video and support my site. So thank you and bye.